Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck today for a guide about Fire Mage in New World Eternum. So today this is the Fire Mage guide for like the Fire Mage that hit the hardest in raid or in PV uh, in general. Even in PvP this this hit kinda hard but you have the deep freeze a, a, as an option but right now today I'm showing you another option and it's the finisher that gives you 15% more DPS on your other weapons. So if I put my mouse on it right there, finisher harmony, you can read that 15% more damage on both of my weapon on bleeding target. All right. And then my fire staff going to benefit of that. And as you can see, what I have into my fire staff, it's not a diamond, it's not an opal. Why? Because I'm empowered cap. So the diamond and the opal does nothing for me. So I think even the malachite does nothing, but I'm not sure. But with the malachite, the, the, the foe need to be stunned, slow or rooted and the boss doesn't get that. So this was kind of my last option. So this is why I opt for that. Anyway, the opal would do nothing for me in the diamond since I'm already empower cap. So as you can see, I have the fire harnessing and the gem. Both give me empowerment 2% each. I have 5 piece. So it's like 20% empowerment from that but only on my fire so i have 100 percent fire on my on that and 50 percent on the other so the fire harnessing does a big difference on the fire staff this is like the weapon you want the harnessing the most yes i propose the harnessing to other people if they are dps into a dungeon but with the fire staff if you don't have it you're really really like really throwing all right so you can do build with the harnessing or the in, in, in ignited gem one or the other and get to empower cap probably by using a gem or whatever you see but since i have all the harnessing and the proper gem i can change the gem into my fire staff and it harder so this is great and this is not a small percentage if you read uh it, it's pretty good 13% damage against target below 50%. So there's still a long time that the target is below 50% and this worked good. So my other perk, like I, I focus on the fire harnessing and my weapon perk. You can see I have fire pillar in there and I have fireball. I think that adding fire pillar on the fire staff and adding fireball on the gear would be better because the the fire pillar on the fire staff is just really good it, it gives you cooldown reduction and the fire pillar it's hard and yeah you're gonna be able to constantly do it but empower ring fireball is still working good and uh, amazing like uh, when target are over 50 percent held you do more dps and the target are over 50 percent held during a long time so like you're gonna it, it's fine like both are good and both are are great build that showed that like that proved themselves during a long time i think yeah yes the the fire pillar is mostly a aoe that is made for multiple target but there's some like some ads phase where you need to kill the ads as quickest as you can and i think for that the fire pillar would be better on the staff so yeah and the not so what chess piece 20 percent more base damage it's not an empowerment it's base damage this is really really different so this is amazing and then i lose my time and power but i don't need my time and power and i'm gonna take off all the time and power into my passive and yeah like i said my other is like refreshing health if you want to do the most dps as possible you're gonna try to have four refreshing and then the last perk is like what you can get like uh, the the best would be probably the conditioning that you need like if the boss it strike it's strike conditioning slash slash conditioning not so not so conditioning but like you will not manage to have a this build for everything so let's focus on the two first perk that is fire harnessing weapon perk and then refreshing 
if you really want to hit a big DPS. If you think you need more survivability, you're going to take off some refishing, put survivability, but it's not, I don't think this is good because you want to do as much DPS as you can to end the ads phase. And when the ads phase is ended, then you make the dungeon easier. If you like DPS, everything is harder and we all know it. All right. So this ring is bad because in very great refreshment, I'm, I think I have a ring there. Yep. Leeching, RT, Keen, really good. You know what you do with that. You can have fire instead of, of Keen, but what happened is I'm already empower cap, so I don't need more fire DPS. Keen is doing way more for me. Uh, I change my amulet depending on the boss. Like, uh, just don't look. This is a PvP amulet, but yeah. Like, you see, I have uh, trash protection, but if I'm going to fight a, uh, the, the first boss in the red, it's going to be strike protection. The second boss is, is going to be slash, and the third, not so, right? And let's search your sure of what you do. There's a boss that's going to drain your health and being able to take your consumable while the boss is draining your health going to save your life. So I, I think this is why Endless Thirst is probably the best into it. And then, my, yeah, my consumable, it, it's the infused health potion, uh, infused regeneration potion. I don't use the serum. Uh, I always, always use RT meal. Uh, RT meal does a big, big difference. Health per second, it change everything. The boss going to put some bleed on you sometime. You eat the RT meal. The bleed doesn't do anything anymore because your, your RT meal regen and the, the bleed is like, it, it, it counter each other. And this does nothing in red because you're going to have the infused angry earth port potion. And if you take gemstone dust and uh, any, anything else like gemstone dust, it's just going to wear out. I use the, the powerful uninstall, infused coating. You need to use all the infused ward, like the best thing you can, all right? Because you're into a group of 10 people and you don't want to throw it. For the attribute, you want to go as much low con as you can, for sure. Like, it just makes sense. And with the int... Like, like I said before, if I do 5 con build, the people are going to hate me because I tried before, right? So if you want to go 50 con, you go like that. And if you want to go with 100 con, you're going to lower and you're going to go 100 con. And if you go with 5 con... If you go with Falcon, then you, you can go with uh, 500 int and add some strength and focus. Like strength, you nah, yeah. If the strength is probably too much uh, lost, like you're gonna have to invest too much point in strength. Maybe that would be better to get the focus one uh, just for the ability cooldown instead. Uh, you see what I mean? I think that trying to reach the 50 strength. You, you have 50 point anyway, so you can probably do it and it's fine. The EV attack, it's important. So yeah, I guess if you want 25 con, you're going to put 25 focus. And if you want 5 con, you're going to put 50 strength and 0 focus, all right? So this makes more sense like this. And then the weapon mastery, this is really important because like I have the not so what chest piece and there's some time and power that uh, like there's no time and power yet that like you see this this is not a time and power so it's always stay on me when I'm not taking damage so the not so what chest piece is good with that uh, same thing with that the not so what chest piece is not taking off this empower. And uh, this rune is still doing on the ground because it said this effect cannot be dispelled. So the natural watch piece is not going to dispel the rune of Elios. So this is amazing. And uh, you can maybe take off some haste to put some cooldown reduction to do more DPS. But uh, the haste can help you survive a lot. Like... What I would say, if you are new to the raid, maybe you better to have the ace just to save your life. And when you get used to it, I would go more for the, the cooldown reduction just to be able to cast more spell and do more DPS. And then for the... I'm going to redo it because it just doesn't make sense. You want uh, you want the meteor shower, you don't want the burnout, alright? 
So you see that would be the build. And like I say, uh, yeah, the ace is for that. You're gonna take that out, you're gonna put that the ace. And in PvP, I better like the, the ace too, so I'm putting it like that. So there's a big difference in this build, and you're gonna do more DPS like that. Seven percent is a lot, and you're gonna need to take care. Um like you, you're gonna use your your fireball into a different order because you want to reduce your cooldown with it usually you're gonna start with the fireball but now your fireball gonna reduce your cooldown so you better to start with the meteor shower and then uh you hope that they have um come on how to say that you hope that they have a stack of smolder and then throw a fireball to try to reduce the cooldown of the fire pillar and the meteor shower and then you're going to be able to to create those smaller stack that you need because yes you're probably not going to have your five smaller stack on the first but you're going to re refresh your cooldown so quick with the fireball that you're going to get the, the fire pillar really quick and you just make your rotation like that you can still keep doing your rotation like you use it to do in pvp anyway it's going to work the the first half is a great weapon, big DPS, and people, a lot of people underrate it. Uh, so yeah, and the rapier, this is my rapier build. Uh, you can take this passive instead of this passive. My, my, my main goal is just to run away with it uh, and gain the 15% the damage buff on leading targets. So I just put the survival thing into it and I don't care about anything else. Um, this is not my goal on this rapier. So, this is it for the build. Uh, if I forget something, just ask some question. I'm going to give you some response. And I'm going to put a gameplay so you guys can see what it looked like. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I wish you guys a good day. Tell someone you love them. Peace out.